Hello, my name is Robin Adair and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Econolyzer range of sterilizers uh, and in particular uh, the knife sterilizers. Uh, this is this is basic knife sterilizer and also you see here to my left uh, this is actually the electric version of the knife sterilizer um, and what makes it different is that the, this part's the same as you can see it's identical but it has an electric water heater built into it and that's the controls for it here uh, and also it's important just to say that all of the different sterilizers or all of the different models that we do are all both available as basic and also as uh, the electric version with their water heater built in and I'll tell you the advantages of that a wee bit later when I go through some of the features of the sterilizers. There are lots of other sterilizers out there uh, very similar to the econolizers. What makes the econolizer unique is that we started from really we started with a thin sheet of paper and uh, designed it so that it not only would it sterilize the knives that goes without saying uh, and, and in actual fact it sterilizes the knives better than the immersion type sterilizers which you know are about the most common type of sterilizer in abattoirs and meat plants uh, but more importantly it was designed to do this using the absolute minimum amount of water typically the knife version of the economizer sterilizers use around about 120 milliliters per sterilization cycle in other words between each animal to each carcass coming through uh, uh, which equates, if you compare it to the immersion type sterilizers, which are used certainly throughout Europe, uh, you know the constant flow type immersion, uh, immersion type sterilizers, uh, then uh, it, it equates to around about a 90% reduction in the amount of water that your sterilizers are using. Uh, and if I tell you that uh, an, uh, just an average sized abattoir here in Northern Ireland we, we replaced all of their immersion type sterilizers with the economizers and uh, their, their, their average daily water consumption for their sterilizers dropped from 70 cubic meters down to, uh, to approximately 7 cubic meters, very, very, very slightly from day to day. Uh, and obviously if your water consumption drops to 90%, because you have to heat this water to, well at least 82 degrees, but in fact you have to heat it to around about 88 or 89 degrees. Uh, then it stands to reason then uh, that if you reduce the amount of water you're using by 90%, well then you're going to reduce the amount of energy that's required to heat that water by the 90%, which is even more cost savings. Plus also you're, you're returning less water to either your effluent plant, if you have an effluent plant, that costs money, or to the council effluent plant. And of course most people, um, uh, certainly over here and certainly in the UK, uh, you have to pay to return the you know, dirty water to the effluent plant. In fact, they don't even want it. Some of the other benefits to using the Econolyzer range of sterilizers, or the Econolyzer technology maybe I should say, uh, is that uh, one, because they only operate for approximately four seconds uh, every time an animal comes through, uh, then they produce virtually, no, I don't want to say none, but they produce virtually no uh, steam. And of course, steam condenses, condenses on the girders up, up above. Any dirt or anything, any bacteria that's in those, uh, that's sitting on the girders, collected by the, uh, the condensation, and there's a risk of it uh, dripping on the carcasses. Because there's no steam, or virtually no steam, you don't get that. Uh, and people comment that, uh, in fact, one fellow commented one that owns the avatar and said that it's like a sitting room. Uh, it's so dry uh, in the, the, you know, on the kill floor. Other benefits are that uh, uh, there's a lot less heat produced by them. In fact, they give off virtually no heat, in fact, uh, which that heat collects up at the ceiling. Uh, you either have to, uh, you know, cool the room down, uh, or if you don't, it's damned hot for people working there. So you've got, obviously, uh, increased comfort for your operators, you get less tired. Um, also, it should, if you're cooling it down, if you're, if you're uh, it should reduce the, the cost of actually uh, keeping the uh, kill floor at a you know at a certain temperature, um, uh, the knives stay sharper because you're not uh, immersing them and leaving them in hot water, so they don't become annealed. Uh, and also uh, another benefit is uh, that uh, because you're not drawing the knife out through potentially what is uh, you know dirty water or certainly a scum on the surface, uh, you get consistently good results good swab results when you sterilize your knives using the econolizers. So that's you know some of the benefits that we've found. 
Uh, I don't know whether uh, you know, you're having problems with some of these or all of these. And most people want to reduce the amount of water they're using. Everybody wants to use the, uh, reduce the amount of fuel. Earlier, I said that I would come back to uh, the, the differences between the basic one and the electric uh, version of the Econolyzer. Uh, with the basic one, uh, you must have a ring main of hot water. So if you have a ring main, this is the one for you. Uh, they both share the same technology, so they both you know, sterilize the knives the same way and they both use the same amount of water. But, but the additional benefit of the electric one is that if you don't have a ring main, then this one, you supply it with cold water and it brings it up to your 90 degrees. Uh, so that's the first benefit for that. Um, the, the, uh, the other major benefit is that the, the electric version uses an awful lot, of, an awful lot less energy to heat the water up, reduce, you know, reducing your running costs. If you, if you remember, uses around, around, around about 120 millilitres of water each time you uh, sterilise your knives. If you're not sterilising knives, you don't use any water. Uh, so you, you're really, in the day, you're only heating up the water that you actually use. No more, no less. And that's why they're a lot less expensive uh, than um, uh, you know, other types of sterilisers we've done actually in an abattoir um, where they killed 350 animals in a day. Uh, they were supplied with 8 degree water, uh, so 350 times it cycled, uh, and it ran for 8 hours and it used 3.9 kilowatt hours of electricity to heat the water, sufficient, you know, to, to do the sterilising. And that was water at 90 degrees, 91, 92 degrees. So this is by far the most economical um, uh, way of doing it. What I'd like to do now is to demonstrate the knife stir the economizer knife sterilizer. Um, so if we this is it, we're going to use the electric sterilizer. This part of it works exactly the same. This is just how you heat your water up. Uh, so uh, first of all, the controls is this you have a power on, power off light. And, uh, well, I'm not sure, but that just lets you know that you've got power on. This switches the electric element on and off, not the power. Okay, and you have your green ready light. Whenever she's, the water's up to temperature and she's ready to go, you, you know, your green light comes on. And you'll see that even after doing it two or three times, it doesn't go out. So there's, you know, there's a fair volume of water there. Or it's, there's enough. So anyway, so what you do is you take your knife out. And also, there's, two, you know, there's provision for two knives. So you can either uh, you have a, a dirty knife and a clean knife, or you can alternate your knives, or you can just use one knife and just use one of the openings. Um, so you take your knife, you use it, you put it back in again, and all you do is you press down on it, and it sterilizes, and there's a finish now. So for four and a half or five seconds, she's sterilizing the knife. As you can see, the green light's ready, so you, then the next carcass comes along, which in, on cattle lines would be maybe every minute or so, and the thing's sitting waiting for you, waiting ready for you to go. What we're going to do here is activate the actual sterilizer with the knife and let you see uh, how much water it uses, just to prove to you basically what we we're saying is the truth. Here we go. That's the knife being depressed. There you can see it. Up to the hundred there, and you just have to give it a chance for the water to drain down off the sides inside, you know. But you can see there. It's about a hundred and about hundred and twenty sitting up, uh, and uh, you know it's still it's, there's probably a wee bit inside it still. The next thing that I'm going to do is uh, show you the just or, or prove to you really the temperature of the water coming out of the uh, sterilizer, uh, you know to sterilize the knives. And to do this, we use um, it's, it's uh, we actually make the manufacture this, and it's to make it easy because it's very difficult to measure the temperature of the you know the water being sprayed. And um, so uh, we'll do it with this here. We have the, the probe is now fitted, and you can see it pokes out. That's just to make it easy for you to actually take, take a reading. And if I press down this knife, and you'll, hopefully you'll be able to see this, to 85, 86, 87, 87 degrees. Just before we finish, I'd like to tell you about some of the other uh, sterilizers in the Econolyzer range. For example, we have, uh, we have an Econolyzer for the splitting saws i.e. the Buster, Buster 4, Buster 5, and the, and the Campmaster equivalent. Uh, we have uh, uh, an economizer for the brisket saws, for the hot cutters, both cattle and sheep, uh, sheep rotter, um, cattle rotter, uh, we have uh, sterilizers for the dehyder, 
uh, and for the wizards. Uh, and if we don't have it, uh, you know, we're constantly adding to our range. And if there's, you know, if there's something you have that we, we don't actually have it, we can either convert something or we'll design something specifically for it. Um, if you'd like any more information, if you'd like to talk to somebody, talk to me about them. Uh, if you have any of the problems that were mentioned earlier, please get in touch with us either by ringing us uh, or sending us an email. The details are on the website. It's www.econalyzer.com. Thank you. Between the basic version